In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an automatic leave report for each of your uh, employees. Now, um, when you have uh, a number of employees, they're always wondering how many days they have left and how many days they've used. And this is an easy way to quickly print out a report for them on what they've used and what they have remaining for their year. So I have um, two people here on my list that have vacation and uh, personal days taken off. So let's just run one for example. So I have a button here which is linked to my program and it's called annual leave. And I'm going to click that and then I get to select the employee. So I'm going to select Carol because Carol here has some days taken off here. And so I'm going to select Carol from my drop down list and I'm going to go create report. Now we have a blank sheet here, but you know what? It automatically generates a PDF. So Carol annual report, and then I open it up and then it says, um, Carol's remaining vacation is 101 hours and 15 minutes. And she has personal time of 19 hours and 30 minutes left. She has a uh, vacation for these days. And then she has personal days taken off for those. So that works just fine. And so I can close that down and then we'll try to run it again. And so um, I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back to my sheet one. And so the other person that has a uh, vacation here is Stanley. So let's do an annual report for Stanley. And I'm going to select Stanley and I'm going to go the same thing, create report. And once again, it gives me nothing, but then if I go to my directory, Stanley annual report here, and you see he has vacation and personal and vacation and vacation and vacation. And he has 144 hours remaining and 27 hours and 15 minutes remaining of personal. So let me show you how I did this. So I'm going through the steps exactly because everybody complains that I missed steps. So I created uh, a user form two here, and this is a combo box, and the combo box is is linked to is is linked to a named range called employees, which is my employee names. Now I've got an action button here, so when I double click that, then you see my code. And so here we go. Now what we're doing is we're looking uh, setting the range equals sheet one, that's that's my first sheet where the names are, and looking for employees, which is the results of the combo button. And then when it finds the employee from the list, and that's going to, the range that it finds it in, that's the row number. And so then what it's going to do is it's going to set the year. So the row number for, uh, row number and column five to column 370, we have to get 365 days in here, right? And so, um, so the employee name goes on the top of the sheet. So that's employee name. And then we have um, sheet six, value remaining and vacation remaining. And then it copies, it copies from my sheet one, it copies from my sheet one, these values. Now it has to use a text. It has to copy them in text because these aren't really numbers. They are two numbers with um, a colon in between there. And so they're, they're classified as text. And so then I have, and then personal, and then copying the next text values. Now for, uh, so now we go to sheet one activate it. And so for, we're setting the year range being cells row number five to 370. And then for each, uh, each of the cell in that range in the year cells, if the cells um, are not equal to a blank, then then the end row of sheet six, which is where I'm developing my report on, is uh, the countdown and then come back up. And so if Y cell value equals B, YC equals cells, the column number. Now on the sheet six, we're going to put in the sheet ones column number four and row number four. Row number four is the date. And then I'm specifying how I want the number format to look like. And so this is month, month, day, 
the year, year, year. And then, um, then I'm going to say beside it, value equals vacation. And then I'm saying, so these have, these people have seven hours and 45 minutes in their day. And so then I'm going to move, which is going to the bottom and going to the next cell. And if the same thing, if um, the cell value is P, then that column, the column number is YC. And then it's the same thing. It's getting number four, which is the day, the date. I'm then showing it the number format to be um, month, 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 day, year, year, year. And then we're going to say it's personal. And then once again, they have seven hours and 45 seconds, 45 minutes off. Now, um, this is, uh, then it goes until the end. Now when it, it's done the loop, then it says path equals this workbook. Wherever I'm keeping this path, it's going to save the file. And worksheets leave report activate. And now I'm selecting, I'm selecting the range A1 to H36. And the selection export as path that we have displayed up here. An employee name and annual report. Whoops. Employee name and annual report dot PDF and file is name and PDF worksheets leave. And what I'm doing is I'm clearing the contents so that when the next time you um, you you run the report, you don't get somebody else's leave in there as well. So that's how you create an annual report for your leave. Please subscribe.